Hello dear students, welcome to Maitri Academy. In this video, we will try to look at the questions which are related to time and distance, especially from the concept of trains. How the train problems are given? How can we tackle the questions which are related to train problems? We will try to observe in this video. And in order to solve the questions, you must remember the basic formulas of speed, distance and time. So, we very well know speed is defined as distance travelled divided by time taken. And distance is equal to speed into time. Time is equal to distance by speed. So, use these formulas while you are trying to figure out the required value. So, in train problems, broadly you are going to see two types of questions. One is train crossing a stationary object. The other one is train crossing a moving object. In the stationary object, again there are two cases. One is stationary object which is not having any length and stationary object which is having some length. And if it is a moving object, there are two cases whether the object is moving in the same direction or opposite direction. So, in these four cases, you will be able to see the questions related to the trains. So, let us observe the case number one. Train crossing a stationary object having no length. Let us assume the train is trying to cross a pole which is on the platform. So, what is the time taken to cross a pole if it is a question? So, what is the basic formula for a time taken? So, time is given by distance by speed. Here, what is the distance? If you observe carefully, train is trying to cross the pole. That means the distance covered is nothing but directly the length of the train. So, the time taken to cross a pole will be given as length of the train divided by speed of the train. And sometimes, Instead of giving it as a pole, they mention any one of these terms. Do remember these terms. They will mention train crossing a pole or train crossing a tree or train crossing a man or train crossing a station master who is on the platform. All these terms will be given. So, whatever the terms are, all these terms are not going to have any length. It is a negligible length. That's why we won't consider the length of that object. So, that is the reason this case is called train crossing a stationary object which is not having any length. So, the time taken to cross given as length of the train divided by speed of the train. So, while you are solving, they will give any two quantities, you have to find out the other quantity. But make sure you are using the conversion. So, 1 kilometer per hour will be equal to 5 by 18 meter per second. So, that conversion you remember I guess. So, using that we can solve the question. So, let us look at the simple question on the screen. A train travelling at a speed of 90 km per hour, it crosses a pole in 10 seconds. Then what is the length of the train? So, length of the train, they given the options 250 meters, 150 meters, 900 meters and 100 meters. So, that means here they are expecting us to find out the distance by looking at the meters as a unit. Meter is a unit for what? Distance. What is the basic formula for distance? Distance is given as speed into time. So, here distance is nothing but the length of the train. So, length of the train will be given as speed of the train into time taken to cross the pole. So, the speed is given as 90 km per hour and time taken is given as 10 seconds. So, because the options are given in terms of meters, you can convert this kilometer per hour to meter per second. To convert kilometer per hour to meter per second, we will be using the relation 1 kilometer per hour will be equal to 5 by 18 meter per second. So, you can just use this and convert this into meter per second so that this second and second will cancel. You will get the length of the train in terms of meters. So, 18 ones are 18 fives are 5 into 5 is 25. So, the length of the train is going to be 25 into 10 which is equal to 250 meters. So, mark the answer choice as going to be option A. And let us look at the second case. The second case here is the train crossing an object which is having some length. Let us understand this. Let us assume train crossing a bridge. Then they are asking what is the time taken to cross the bridge. So, the time is given with a basic formula as a distance travelled by speed. And what is the distance here? So, train crossing a bridge means it is going to cover its own length and at the same time bridge length. So, the total distance covered will be length of the train plus length of the bridge divided by speed of the train. So, the formula to find out the time taken will be 
length of the train plus length of the bridge divided by speed of the train. So using this, we can find out the answer. Sometimes instead of saying it as a bridge, they may mention any one of these terms. So train crossing a platform, train crossing a bridge, train crossing a tunnel, train crossing a stationary train, like that they will be giving any one of these terms. All these terms are having some length. So you have to consider the length of the object plus length of the train that will give the total distance covered divided by speed of the train will give the total time taken to cross. And how the question is given based on this, let's understand. So if you observe a simple question here, a train of 300 meters long crosses a platform of 900 meters long in 1 minute 12 seconds, then the speed of the train is. How can we calculate the speed? Speed is given with a formula called distance traveled divided by time taken. And here the train is trying to cross a platform. That means it is an object with length. So the total distance covered will be length of the train plus length of the platform divided by the total time taken. And what is the length of the train here? They given length of the train is 300, length of the platform is 900. 300 plus 900, the total distance covered will be 1200 meters. And the time taken, if you observe, it is crossing it in 1 minute 12 seconds. So 1 minute 12 seconds, you convert everything into the seconds. How can we convert? We very well know 1 minute is going to be 60 seconds. So 60 seconds plus 12 seconds, the total time taken will be equal to 72 seconds. So 1200 meters divided by 72 seconds will give the answer in meter per second. But they are expecting in kilometer per hour. So how can we convert meter per second to kilometer per hour? You can just multiply with 18 divided by 5. So further simplification of this will give the answer 18 ones are 18 fours are 4 ones are 4 threes are and 5 ones are 5 twenties are. So 20 into 3 is giving a result as 60. So we can say the speed of the train will be equal to 60 kilometer per hour which is available as option D. You can mark it as answer choice. And before we are proceeding for the next question. And if you want to join for API set and TSI set courses, Maitri exam prep is a mobile application which Maitri Academy is having. In that, we have a complete course of TGI set and API set where you can see all the topic wise videos for every topic in all the three sections of analytical and mathematical and communication ability. So the entire course fees is 2500, but now new year offer is going on. Instead of 2500, you can get it for 1250 rupees only and the offer valid for few days only. You can use the coupon code of new 25 and get an offer of 1250 rupees and get the complete full course of ISET at just 1250 rupees only. All the recorded classes of every topic will be available. Once you download the Maitri exam prep app and see the demo, if you like, then only you can purchase. I collected some previous questions for the practice purpose based on the concept which I have discussed. So you can go through the questions, look at the first practice question, pause the video, solve the question, comment your answer below. Practice question number two. Practice question number three. Practice question number four. So solve these four practice questions. Just pause the video and if you are not able to solve, go through the video once again and observe the formula. So put it here. You can simply able to get it. Hope you understand the concept. Thank you so much.